Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Modern Leadership Live, where we create collaborative conversations to connect our company cultures as well as our rural community. Today, I'm joined by my employee of the month over here. Right. Um, Right. And also, most importantly, Mike Kublin. Um, he is the president of People Tech. He is the creator of the modern of the, the leadership journey. Um, I know he's a personal friend. I know Mike, you helped a lot when we were transitioning some of our businesses to doing coaching, and you were really super supportive of that. In fact, I think when I met you, um, I was working as a senior business anal systems business analyst at Amex, and um, there were some leadership issues there, um, and that you supported me with M uh, Myers Briggs and you know helping us connect, you know, another leader and myself, and that was fantastic. And I always knew you were somebody special, and we've kept in touch for a really long time. So welcome, Mike. It's so good to have you. Nina, thank you so very much for having me. I'm, I'm thrilled, and I just appreciate the opportunity to be, to be with you again and yeah, all, right. all, of our, all of our lives together. <laughs> yeah, we've been, yeah, let's not count the years at this point. It's been a bit. Um, so, yeah, the reason why we're here, why I wanted you here today, Mike, is because you've always had a very keen passion and a keen sense for leadership and bringing that out in others. Um, and I think that's why people follow you. I think that's why you've had your company for so long as well. And you have such a great team. I'd love to know, what do you think the world needs more now than ever as it relates to leadership? Nina, thank you so much uh, for that question. Over the last uh, four months, actually, and, I, and you know, I've been doing uh, people tech for tw over 25 years, but over the last four months, something has really hit me on what the purpose is for, for all of us on the planet. And it's really how we show up as individuals and how we treat other people on the planet. And I think the more and more we focus on how, how that is being done, the better the planet is gonna be in the long run. Um, it's up to each of us. It's the only thing we really have control of, mm -hmm. how we communicate to each other, how we honor each other, how we help each other. And um, it's hit me hard. Uh, it, it hit me because a couple of my friends uh, lost a child mm -hmm. and uh, they've been my best friend for many years and uh, lost their second child. And I couldn't make sense of it in terms of what happened. And it really brought clarity, clarity to me on what I've been doing all these years. It's really, how do we as people show up to each other in the best way possible? Can you say, I love this. Um, I, I'd love to dive into it a little deeper. So what, what I heard you say is it's not so much about the techniques that we use or outward appearances. It's really about who, who we're being. And so can you say a little more about how this couple's friend, the friends that you have, like how, how did you show up for them and how, how did that, how did that grow your leadership just by being with your friends? I love this. Say more. This has been the most difficult thing I have ever experienced. Um, I love these people. And, uh, you know, I've been doing leadership development for a long, long, long time. Many years. And many, many moons. And um, it's, it's just being there to listen, not try to control anything, not try to fix anything, to be there to, to listen and, and, and hear them and hear what they're going through and and be supportive, as, as supportive as you can be without judgment, without trying to guide anything, without trying to, uh, to do anything because we have no control over any of that. Um, so trying to be the best friend that I can be um, to them and the best person that I could be to them and let go of any need to try to manage that I don't even know to this day, am I doing it correctly? Okay, I have no idea. All I know is that I'm putting all of Michael Kublin there to be present with them. Wow, Mike, that is huge right now. So if there's someone struggling about what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? 
your advice would be, well, who am I being in this moment? How am I listening? How am I creating, you know, you didn't say this word, but like a container for the relationship to thrive. And how, how am I really being with the person so that I'm not looking for fixing it or making them wrong or making myself right? None of that exists in, in what you're talking about. It doesn't. And we can make mistakes. I, there was a couple of times in there that I did it and I, and I actually shared with them that I felt that I was. And um, Ooh, mm -hmm. responsibility and recovering and really great stuff, Mike. Exactly. The being vulnerable. Um, I think every person on the planet can learn these, these things. How do we be the best person that we could possibly be while, while we're here? Yeah. And who doesn't want to follow that? Any old paradigms that you want to mention? I mean, I think you've kind of alluded to them now and you know, any, any bold predictions in the future based on that, based on that, this is an old paradigm. So bold, bold predictions in the future. What, what will we have coming up here? Well, the, the thing that I get into uh, trouble with the most, with a lot of people that, that, that say the, not, they, they make a statement, not everyone is a leader. And, and I, I always have a statement. Everyone on the planet is a leader. Yeah. I don't care what level you are. I don't care who you are, if you're a general or if you're the person that's uh, doing whatever they're doing to help this world, okay? Because they're present, they're here, okay? Yeah. Just by being here entitles them to that to that title. They may not be effective or positively impacting their environment, but they're leading something just by their presence. Exactly. Fantastic. And just by their presence, as, as a matter of fact, they have to ask themselves through self-awareness, is their presence causing leadership to to grow causing people to be empowered to go where they've never gone before or is it actually taking away from that so there's like in the old paradigm there's no there's no room for blaming like modern leaders don't blame we're not looking for any of that we're 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 sovereign and we're taking responsibility we're aware of our impact and we're consciously making choices the best we can through recovery through vulnerability through um, responsibility uh, to, to continue to make the world a better place. That's right. And so I think the paradigm shift is that all of us need to think that as soon as you experience a person, you need to be present. As soon as you experience a person, you have to have the skills to listen with patience, to understand what's going on for them, to hear what's happening behind the scenes for them. Sure if we all have that, we're all going to be the best leaders that we can be. If we all search inside for what it is we want to leave as our legacy and, and, and do it in a healthy, honoring, respectful manner, we're, we're going to be the best leaders possible. And I think this is only going to magnify over the next one, two, three, four, ten, twenty, hundred thousand. Yeah. So this this is, you know, sort of really becoming more and more important, right, to, to be. And in, in the lead in the way and be in the way that you're talking about as we continue on um, in our journey as humans here on Earth 2020. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's I, I think we, we it's, hit it and it's, it's going to be a process, not an event. Everybody says you go to a leadership program and then all of a sudden you're, you're, you're a leader. No, you, it, it's a process just like building muscles in a gym. You don't yeah. go to the gym just once you go to the gym for the rest of your life. And that's going to be this process. That's fantastic. Well, I appreciate you, Mike, so much. Thank you for joining us today. And I'm so proud of everything that you've accomplished throughout the years. And it's so nice to continue to keep in touch with you. And Kublin, everyone, he's the CEO of People Tech Coaching. Look him up and we look forward to talking to you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Thank you.